careful, my young Padawan, for the dark side clouds everything. So, Magnesites, the god that wields the dark mill near returns to answer your question and light your path as the Magnesite movement marches forward to one million subscribers, 83,000 strong. Now, I want you to listen to this email that I got. Help this young Magnesite out. So, it's entitled, Emptiness. Hello, Tyrone. I'm a fan of yours, and I really like your videos. I want to ask you for advice for these thoughts I have been having recently about my life. I'm currently in college and have been having intrusive thoughts about nihilism. Now, if you do not know what nihilism is, this is what it is. I thought he misspelled something at first because I'd never heard before. I had to look it up. But it's nothing that I am unfamiliar with. Excuse me. So nihilism is the rejection of all religious and moral principles, often in the belief that life is meaningless. And you will see when I read the email, the rest of it, you'll understand he's definitely in sync with that last part. He said, nothing has any meaning to me, and I have been seeing everything as completely pointless. I have been losing my drive to study in college and I found myself wanting to sleep more often you're getting into depression that happened to me when my mom died and all I did was sleep all the time and that is one of the signs that you are in depression um, I am not suicidal or anything I merely feel empty like what is the point in trying when in the end it doesn't matter I know Knowing that should give me strive to be to better myself. But to me, it is having the opposite effect. It's like the saying, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. But for me, it's like the nearer you get to the end of the tunnel, the light is merely dimming till complete darkness. Damn, brother. That last statement sounded a little depressing, but I hope you caught my drift. I just want to get out of this mind trap. Thanks. So, you're dealing with this, see, you, you, you're dealing with this deep thought process. I've been through it, I know what you mean. Um, but I, I never went down that, that tunnel like you did. I never went down the dark tunnel. You know, there's two tunnels. For me, this tunnel toward light and enlightenment, and this tunnel toward darkness and despair and ignorance. Okay, now, right now, you are becoming stagnant and stank like a bucket of water collecting rainwater, but just sit there and then get mosquitoes laying eggs in it and get dirty and green and start stink and stuff like that. That's what's hard to happen to you. You're losing. What you want to be is flowing. You want your thoughts to continue to flow. You want things, your energy to flow and to get better. That's what you want, okay? Now, I came to a point where I was kind of like, you know, because I'm not an atheist, but at this point in my life, I do not have a particular faith. I'm not sure whether God exists. I'm not sure whether he does not exist. I'm not sure what is the point of life. Because like, it's like, okay, well, if God doesn't exist, then it's like, what is the point? You know, you see people die every day and things happen to people. And it's like, damn, is life meaningless? Is it just something that happens to you? Or is there some grand purpose to it all? And because I do not know the answer I have decided to adopt the simple phrase don't worry be happy because some of these things these these like universal truths that a lot of us seek you can't get the answers to at least not now maybe never but I'm not going to let that ruin my time on this planet. You understand what I'm saying? So I have decided to not worry. Worry 
fear, despair, depression, all jokes aside, are paths to the dark side. You don't want to go down that path, man, because it's going to be a sad, depressing, sucky life. And it sounds like you're walking on that path right now. Okay? All right. Now, look, I'm walking parallel to you somewhere I, somewhere else. Okay? But I'm going toward the light. I'm walking right next to you. I'm not looking. You get off the path. Step right over here. Get on this sidewalk, brother. All right? Because where I'm going, I'm having fun. I'm like, look, fuck the depression. I still, I, there, put it this way. If, 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 if at the least, the purpose of life is just to enjoy your time here, to make the best of it that you have, then do that. Find something to latch on to so that you can increase your drive, okay? Find a goal, find a desire, find a burning desire, a burning passion in your life, something you're passionate about that will make you happy. And that will give you purpose until the grand creator, universal force, whatever it is, enlightens your ass as to what the real purpose of life is. Until then, I'm going to find my own purpose. You understand? I am not religious anymore, but I am... I know it's cliche to say spiritual, but I guess you could say I'm philosophical. I'm always thinking, I'm always in thought, always in thought, always trying to learn. And I feel like as long as I stay positive, I've noticed that positive things continue to happen to me. When I get negative, bad things happen to me. So why don't you make it an objective to be happy and find enlightenment and find answers. But don't get stressed about them. Just believe that those answers will come to you eventually when you need them, when it's the right time. But until then, find different purposes in life to live for. Whether it's helping old people, whether it's helping children, whether it's helping animals, whether it's helping yourself, no matter what it is, find some purpose to get keep you busy and find a purpose that is going to be gratifying, something that's going to be fulfilling to you, okay? Because uh, the negative part of life sucks. I hardly even think about that. There's a friend of mine <laughs> I'm pretty close to, and she told me that she doesn't want to run away from her negative feelings. Like she almost embraces negative feelings because she feels it's natural to feel them. And I understand what she means by that, but I don't run away from my negative feelings. I manage my negative feelings because my negative feelings create a negative life. So, when she gets negative feelings, she'll feel them and feel sad and goes, oh, mm, mm, I'm so sad. While me, I'm saying, Ugh, time to get rid of this shit. Let's manage it, okay? Waste management. <laughs> get cart that shit the fuck out of here because I don't need it in my life. You get what I'm saying? So do your own waste management and get rid of the negativity. Develop it, like I said, you probably have searched for meaning in life through religion and different philosophies and probably haven't found it yet. Find your own happiness through your own life's philosophy. And maybe through that, you can find total fulfillment, okay? I hope I have helped you. If you like the video, press the like button right now. You will press the like button. You will press the like button. One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.